the big four, the grand slam of candy days. Halloween is king, sure. And who can resist a stocking filled with Christmas candy? Then there's Valentine's Day, a chocolate lover's dream. But today we taste the wares of the unsung hero of candy days. Its lineup is strong, tasty, consistent, memorable. When it comes to the holiday grand slam, don't sleep on Easter. Today, a large bunny comes knocking at the door with a basket full of goodies and asks, You tried it! You tried that. The Easter episode, I'm Nick Novak with my pals, Chad Hancock. Howdy. Nick Geiger. I can't hear you, Geiger. On mute. Hello. (laughs) 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 Off to a great fucking start. (laughs) (laughs) And back in February of 2020, we had a guest, and she's back. And this is our good friend, Eve. Eve, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Nothing uh, eventful has happened since February 2020. (laughs) So, (laughs) don't need to dwell on that. So, guys, Easter. Easter, when you were a kid, um, Geiger, we talked about this before, that your parents just had you uh, find one Easter basket. They didn't hide any eggs, just one basket. You had to look all over for it. Yeah. Um, and uh, Eve, did your family hide eggs? What did they do for Easter when you were a kid? They hid, well, <laughs> we would color the hard boiled eggs. Right. And then the morning of, my dad would have us all like leave the room. <laughs> and then they would hide them because they were afraid of them like sitting out too long, I guess. Right. And then we would go mm. search for the. Mm. So they didn't pretend to like the, the bunny headed or anything. No, no. So wait, you actually <laughs> no found magic. the hard boiled eggs? You didn't find like yeah. candy or okay. No, they didn't hide. Oh, they didn't hide. Can- we just like the, the baskets were out with all of the fun stuff. And then we would just look for the hard boiled eggs. And then did he like make you eat the eggs? Like your <laughs> no, cholesterol is too low. Eat these eggs. <laughs> <laughs> did he make you eat cheese dogs? Because uh, <laughs> even I have a ready joke for 20 years where she told the story of her dad always wanting to eat cheese dogs and pushing cheese dogs on everybody. And every time they'd come over saying, hey, you guys want some cheese dogs? <laughs> Am I telling that right? <laughs> Pretty much. But you know what's weird? Because I hardly think of that anymore. And I've just made this connection. Uh, we now, my husband and I, Joel... We get, he has a friend whose brother raises pigs. And so like, we'll get like half a pig. And then we have to like get all of the, like we say what we want, like ham, bacon, this kind of sausage, that kind of sausage. Joel (laughs) really pushes cheese dogs. I just made a connection. Last week we got the order, the half a pig. I mean, it's all made into stuff. And all this past week, he's been like, should we have more cheese dogs? Should we have cheese dogs? Should we get the kids to eat the cheese dogs? Wow. So you are drawn that? to men with cheese dogs, yeah. <laughs> did, he, yeah did, did he learn that from your dad? Or he just independently, you married your dad situation? I think it's independent. Yeah. 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 You got half of a fresh, live, like, organic, whatever <gasps> pig, and you turned it into fucking cheese dogs? <laughs> no, only a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Well, a half a pig goes a long way. You get a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. You make a lot that. of cheese dogs. You, half of a pig. <laughs> you gotta st- you gotta force feed that pig cheddar cheese for a good year or two. <laughs> the way I thought that story was gonna go was because you were like, I just realized my husband Joel, where there's my brother's whatever fucking shit pig, half a pig. Anyways, Joel's last name is Cheese Dog. I just realized. It. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, so is mine. <laughs> now wait, hold on. is a cheese dog just a hot dog with cheese on it, or a cheese inside, or what? Yeah, that's okay. a yeah. Come on, I'm dude. surprised you don't know that. That's worse than ordering <laughs> cheese dogs. To be fair, <laughs> I I actually it has cheese in the middle, and at once this is this is a, a very infamous food story for me. In that I stopped at a gas station one time. 
Okay. And was Why? very hungry. No, I know. No, I know. <laughs> this is a huge mistake. I stopped at a gas station. I decided to get a hot dog. I don't know why I got a hot dog gas station or a gas station hot dog because yeah. they're gross no matter what. Mm-hmm. But I got it. I was very, very hungry. I got out to my car, took a bite, and it was a cheese dog. <laughs> and like, I almost threw up. It was yeah. so nasty. I have the exact same story from like a 7 Eleven, where like I went into a 7 Eleven hoping to get a hot dog, and it was a cheese dog, and the cheese was spicy. And I've literally never been more disappointed in my life. Like, <laughs> I didn't know I could be disappointed in a 7 Eleven hot dog, and there it was. <laughs> Oh, my dad used to get these ones um it was like a like it was like buying a hot dog at the store but they had put like chili quote unquote in the center it was supposed to be a chili dog and it was just like this chili paste that they injected in the center like a chili God. they were fucking vile and he used to you know he liked them a lot like, and then i married a woman whose last name was chili dogs i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's her stage name though that was not fair right yeah she was yeah. a stripper named chili dog it was the worst strip club I've ever been to. <laughs> it's a Wisconsin strip club. Yeah, Wisconsin. There's, a, <laughs> there's ham hock. There's chili dog. <laughs> Roast beef sandwich over there. Her, her stage name was Chili Dog, but her real name was Cheese Dog. So, yeah. <laughs> Not too far afield. Keep the anonymity, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and Eve, we should note that uh, before, we noticed this before you came on, but behind Eve on her Skype, um, there are two cardboard cutouts facing a window, and we can't tell who they are, but she told us it is uh, Rocky Balboa and the kid from Creed from the new movie. Adonis Creed. Adonis, Adonis Creed. Creed. And we said, well, why are they looking out the window? You know, like it just maybe is a funny thing for the neighborhood kids to see. And he said, because there are no curtains for that window. <laughs> and they look like they cover maybe 35% of the window. Of people. They're, not, they're not great curtains. One of them, one of them is Michael B. Jordan. So that's going to draw the eye right there. Yeah. 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 Well, and young Rocky Balboa. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. yeah. So what's your defense? Yeah. What is your defense of it? Oh, this is the lower level. <laughs> it's not really So street level where people could see in perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> good defense. <laughs> Pretty much. We're just not down here as much. <laughs> Are they like looking up through the like little like window well that goes underground? No. No, it's it's actually not a base. It's not a true basement. It's an exposed okay. basement. Mm. So well, those, well, those aren't true curtains, so that works out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it is like right. Well, because there used to be trees there, and the trees all died, so the trees were like the natural barrier. I mean, there was never a curtain. This isn't really helping. But the trees made it so you couldn't see the neighbor's house, and then the yeah. trees came down, and it was like, bam! There's their window. There. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, so, so every, so every time they look out their window, they see like four eyes, like peeping yes. Tom right into their bedroom. And... Yes. They should put Ivan Drago cut out looking back the opposite way. <laughs> I remember when I used to live with my dad downtown, he had an apartment building for a while, like around the lake. And there's a little balcony area and I would go out there sometimes and read and stuff. And across the, the like across the way of apartment building, it, there was like always someone staring at me. It was always a guy, a, a guy. I could see a guy like standing in his window looking out. And then finally, I'm like, it, he never changed position. So I'm like, okay, it can't be a guy. <laughs> so I got, uh, I think we had like, I got my dad. Must be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> please let it be a woman, please. No. Uh, I must went out be there. The with... Real Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> It turned out it was uh, Eve's dad. They couldn't afford curtains then either. So. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, the original one. No, I went out there with binoculars. I looked across, and it was a movie cutout of Jim Carrey from Liar Liar. I have no idea why he faced the window. Oh, but I was like, yeah, it was pretty. The, the way okay. The way that story should have ended is you put on the binoculars and looked across and it was a giant cutout of a cheese dog. That's how it should have ended. I'm not trying to, you know, punch up your material here. Sorry. Yeah, there was a cheese dog across the way. Yeah. <laughs>
So, Eve, you get wine delivered to your house. We're talking about this. This is usually <laughs> there's a big crossover between people who use cardboard cutout boxers as blinds <laughs> and people who get wine delivery. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you had a there was a wine delivery incident this week. Is that right? Well, yeah. Well, so I only started to get the wine delivered during the past year, which I really didn't need to get it delivered because I was still going out to stores. But I, for some reason, was like, this will be fun. I'll get these like every other month wine deliveries. Twice as much wine. Yeah. 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 And I really didn't used to drink a lot of wine. And then um, now I do. So anyway, so <laughs> the wine delivery. <laughs> the only problem. <laughs> Skipped over something there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i didn't really use to snort a lot of cocaine but then i got that home cocaine delivery and now that's all i do well, I don't know what <laughs> uh, yeah well yeah we won't go into that but anyway so so <laughs> the only <laughs> the only problem with the wine delivery is that you have to be at home because you have to sign for it because it's sure. like a uh, yeah, you got to sign for it. So anyway, I ordered some wine and I ordered it like Sunday night, Monday morning. It like really was not that long ago. So I was like, the wine's probably not coming for like a week or something. And so I went for a walk. This was like, I can't remember. Like it was like Tuesday only Wednesday, Tuesday after school, um, went for a walk with one of my daughters just kind of having like a rough day. So it's like, oh, let's go for a walk. So we were going for this walk. <laughs> and we're walking around the block. And so our neighborhood is really, um, we take this loop. It's like a mile loop. And once you get okay. started, it's like really hilly. It's really pretty. So we're taking this walk. We're talking, trying to make her feel better. And then I see a UPS truck drive by. And I'm like, you know, talking to my daughter at night. And then I think in the back of my head, oh, the wine comes via mm-hmm. UPS. And so like we're talking at my phone with me. I just like quick pulled up the app to see, oh, what day is that wine getting delivered? And it was getting delivered that afternoon. And the UPS, that's the truck it was on. Right. Okay. So now I'm like, oh, we're on this walk. The wine is on the UPS truck. I'm not home to sign for it. And so poor Scarlett, my daughter, I was like, can you run ahead and see if you can just tell the guys to wait. Because. Put on this wig, sign for a wine, the wine, pretend you're 21. Because I am already drunk from the store bought wine. I will not make it in time. Tell Adonis Creed to sign for it. He can do it. Well, because I knew. Well, and the other problem is that my other two daughters were home alone, they're only nine. They're not supposed to answer the door if anybody comes to the door when they're home alone. We were just on like a 15 Unless walk, it's so wine. Like, <laughs> <that's> it. <laughs> Don't answer the door unless it's wine o'clock, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I told my daughter, sprint ahead and distract this stranger until mom can get her wine. Because <laughs> I was like, I will also start jogging. But I'm not in really that great of shape, probably partly because of the wine. So, like, (laughs) (laughs) she is, like, 12, you know, they can, like, run around a block like it's somebody's business. So, I'm like, can you run ahead? (laughs) So, so she runs ahead. I've always thought that about 12 year olds. (laughs) <laughs> well, I don't care what you got to do, honey. Or- if you get in his van, do whatever you need to. Just <laughs> keep him there. <laughs> Here's a knife. Slash his tires. <laughs> so no, so that so she runs ahead, and I'm running. But you got it is like hills. Okay, so I'm running, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I'm running, and then I'm like, I have to stop. I'm running. I have to stop. And then I like crest over this hill, and this old woman was walking towards me and she sees me running and she got like this alarmed look on her face and she was like, Oh, are, are you okay? Are you all right? And I'm like, I'm just trying to get my wine. And so then I get like a lunatic. (laughs) You bowl her over out of my way, bitch. I gotta get my wine. (laughs) Well, So I'm like going and then I see the, the truck is stopped. There's two men. Like there's never two men on the UPS truck, but there was this day. But I ordered so oh much God. wine. They almost <laughs> <wanted you> <laughs> but like they're both standing there, 
They're like young. They're kind of good looking. They're standing there just smiling. Where is my this daughter. Going? It, yeah. No, like, no, it's embarrassing. Because here's me like running. Uh-huh. I'm like all flushed. And there's these like two young men sitting there just waiting, like just laughing at me. Right. And so then I get there and I was like, oh, thank you for waiting. And they're just laughing. And then they're like, oh, yeah. And then they didn't even make me sign for it. <laughs> they, probably, they probably didn't want to stick around. Like, Please well, get a knife so she can't get this wine pretty quick. <laughs> that was just embarrassing. Like, how does that happen? I mean, it doesn't, it's, it's like a stereotype of like this middle aged woman ordering wine. I don't know. <laughs> Running down the street it? for it. Right? <laughs> I don't know. It's just embarrassing. So that happened this week. Are you out of wine already or no? <laughs> no, not yet. I got twelve right. bottles. How how soon after after that incident was the first bottle popped open? That oh, shortly after. That was like three thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I worked up quite a third sprinting half of life. <laughs> now, Eve, you know UPS will also deliver curtain rods if you order them online. <laughs> do you have to sign way. for them, though? <laughs> I probably not. I'm guessing they'll just leave. Them Speaking there. of, why do you have the cutouts? Like what you said, I already had these cutouts. What was the purpose for getting two Rocky themed cutouts? Um. Because I love Rocky so much. And so my brother, Jay, <laughs> uh, one of my birthdays a couple of years ago, he got me those cutouts. Oh, it was a gift. Mm. All right. Yeah. I don't know. You know, uh, I w- I'll bet Amazon would also deliver you like a uh, Adrian cutout if you want to like have a little gender diversity there or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I want Adrian. <laughs> would they though is that does that exist <laughs> a cut out of adrian <laughs> a cut out of like holly sitting there in his, in his dirty undershirt uh, i'm would sure it? you could get a mr t cut out though that would be pretty cool. oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. clever yeah. lang yeah. of course yeah yeah all right well at the mention of clever lang let's <laughs> eat some easter snacks um we have got three easter snacks we rate them on a five point scale a love debt like debt Indifferent to debt, dislike debt, and hate debt. Let's start with the Junior Mints uh, today. We've got Junior Mints eggs, and they are a bit different uh, in the box than the regular Junior Mints. So on the front, you can tell it looks like they've got more of a candy coating to them. How do you guys feel about regular Junior Mints? I love them. I really, really, really like them. I love mints, and I love chocolate and mint together. Same here. I don't like Junior Mints uh, normally, but it is my mom's favorite uh, movie theater snack. She will like Ooh. house these things. Yeah, I love Junior Mints. So there are three different colors. There's green, pink, blue, and I assume they are no difference to them. That's correct. Really not much mm. different than Junior Mint. They're just bigger and irregular shaped. I think they're egg shaped. They are bigger. I feel like the coating's a little different. Yeah, they're egg shaped. You're right. I think the outside might be a little thicker. Than a regular yeah, junior mint, probably, because there's a chocolate and then there's like a, a glossed candy coating on top. A regular junior mint is just chocolate, right? It's just the chocolate and then the there's no candy coating. Right. right. It tastes very similar to this. Okay, um, Gagger, you're gonna start us off. What do you think of these things? I mean, I love junior mints. These are almost entirely the same. They're like the little bit of extra outside part or outside layer doesn't really bother me. They're a little bigger, which I appreciate. Guys, is a love that for me. I love Junior Mints. And this is basically Junior Mint. So there it is. Do you think it's better or worse than a normal Junior Mint? Or same? I, think it's a little, I mean, maybe a little better just because they're bigger, right? But it's really the same proportions either way. So um, I'm not I'm not beating around any said bush this time. I'm just getting right to it. These are fantastic. All right. Eve, let's toss you in here. What do you think? I was a little worried because I thought that the coating would taste not as chocolatey. But I think... If I was blindfolded, I don't think I would be able to tell the difference except they're a little crunchier on the outside, which I kind of like. So actually, I think I'll also say I'm going to give this a love dat because I love Whoa. Junior Mints. Starting off These are great. Wow. I think it's about to f- go down from here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Chad? <laughs> I'm still eating them. I can't stop eating them. I should probably slow down. All right. Sorry. 
I will say they're actually not bad. And they, I, I think they're better than regular junior mints. And I think it is because of that candy coating. I think it provides like a nice texture there. Uh, and some sort of like additional, uh, maybe just like a little bit of additional sweetness that sort of counterbalances the mint in a way that I like. And the mint isn't too strong, actually. You know, it's it's not too toothpastey or anything like that. So they're okay. Uh, I, I'm going to go with an indifferent to that for them because I just don't, you know, mint's not my thing. But that's higher than I thought I would have rated them, honestly. Gregor, you probably know what I'm going to say because you always... Yeah, I know exactly uh, what your button. thoughts are. Yeah. All right, you go ahead. You're you're upset because they took a classic and they fucked uh-huh. with it. Yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> a junior mint, a regular junior mint, is a love debt. I really like junior mints. So I'll get them on occasion. The candy coating does not make it better. I I think it makes it worse. Wow. I think the texture of a junior mint is the perfect texture. It's got just the right amount to give to it. This candy coating is just adding a slight uh, bit of crunch that I don't enjoy, but it still does have that very good junior mint taste, which I like. So I am going to still give them a like that because the taste isn't that far off. But I did downgrade them because they took a classic and they fucked with it. <laughs> so been, I've told them not to do. But they still do it. <laughs> just open defiance of your laws. Um. We're going to leave the uh, the grass for last. We got to. So we're going to do the Cadbury caramel egg now. And the Cadbury egg was one of the year-long winners of in our first year in business. Uh, we all are big fans of that Cadbury egg. Now, the caramel one I've never had. Has anyone had this before? I think I have. I think I have too, but I like don't remember it. So I think it's just caramel on the inside, maybe? Or is there going to be any of the Cadbury cream? This is caramel. Wow, the integrity of the egg just completely collapsed when I bit into it. You got to be gentle. I also couldn't get the wrapper off. It was like stuck. There's like caramel leaking out everywhere. The caramel is very liquidy compared to some other caramels, but a similar consistency <clears throat> to the inside of a uh, Cadbury egg, that cream that's on there. Some salty caramel. Hmm. Chad, let's start with you this time. What do you think of this caramel egg? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's it's basically like Milky Way in egg form. It is a little hard to eat because I wasn't gentle and the egg just completely collapsed. But I actually think it's better than a Cadbury cream egg. I know the Cadbury cream egg was was a winner that first year, but in retrospect, I don't even know if I w- if I would have given it as high rating as I did. Mm. It's good. See, here's the problem. It's a good flavor, but I don't think this is something I'm going to buy. Like, if I'm at the store, I would just get, like, we did that Milky Way salted caramel, like, a, a couple weeks ago. This is a hundred times better than this thing, I think. It's so much better, so much easier to eat, like, a better form factor, better taste. So, but I'm I'm just going to give this a very low level like that. It's good, not great. Okay, Eve, what do you think? I love caramel. It's, like, one of my most favorite things. So I was worried about this because I thought that I did not have high hopes for, I don't know, I just, an Easter egg filled with caramel. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I was pleasantly surprised. The caramel is not too sweet. It's slightly salty. The chocolate on the egg is actually a lot better than I remembered a Cadbury cream egg chocolate being. So I think I do really like it, but like Chad said, I don't think I'd ever buy it again i think i'm gonna say like that if it's in an easter basket i will eat it i'm very torn i I feel like i'm sort of right where you guys are it's too the problem is it's too the the chocolate's very good um the it's just the same chocolate as the cadbury egg this is no cadbury egg by a long shot i would i've had cadbury eggs already this year they're 10 times better than this thing um, but it's mm-hmm. fine. The biggest problem is there's too much caramel. Like it's just overwhelming amount of caramel to where I ate half of this thing and I don't want to eat anymore. Like it's a, I've had my fill of caramel as it is. Um, so <sighs> I'm really torn. I'm like right on that low, like to, uh, to indifferent stage. I think I'm going to lower it. My first thought while eating was that I liked it, but I I don't want to eat anymore. So I'm going to lower it to a high level indifferent to that. Um, Geiger, where are you going to fall? You know, Novak is reliable for a lot of things, but one of them, the man consistently says what needs to be said. 
And, uh, <laughs> that's what happened here. Um, I really appreciate what he does to, for, to his body as well. Uh, um, you do? I don't know. <laughs> Your body's gonna his rating is still real to you. <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I have the. You basically took the words out of my mouth. It's too much caramel. It's fine. It's a good candy. I don't mind. I like caramel okay. I don't love it. Um, it's just overwhelmingly caramel based uh, as a snack. The, the chocolate's good. It's the same Cadbury. And I love a regular Cadbury egg. I think it's just for me. This is too much goopy caramel. It's like the, my hands are so sticky. Like it's all. It's like not a, like an easy thing to eat because of how gooey it is inside. How did it get all of your uh, hands? Because <laughs> I said I had to take all the wrapper off. I was waiting for the gooey hands. I took to the wrapper off. Yeah, yeah I I, I, there was there was caramel like leaking out of mine already. So it was like you made the wrapper sticky and stuff. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You don't yeah. know how to eat a piece of candy. <laughs> So, I mean, it was difficult to cut with that fork and knife I brought. Uh, no, I, I put the straw inside and couldn't suck the caramel out. Uh, it yeah. was it was fine. I would give it a, a high level of different, um, but it is going to be an indifferent to me. If I'm with Eve as well. If I was at an Easter party and someone handed it to me, I would eat it. But um, it didn't blow me away. I'll back up, Geiger. My hands are a little sticky, too. And it's from the candy. It's from the candy. <laughs> Keep them where candy. I can see them. That's all I'm asking. Are you wearing okay. pants? Stand up. <laughs> Will you guys actually eat a full Cadbury cream egg? It's not yeah, really what? a two-serving meal. What the fuck <laughs> yeah. are you talking about? You, you, take, you take half a Cadbury cream egg, eat half, and then leave the exposed cream just hardened in the fridge? No, I'm do? just... Because Novak said he ate half of this thing. He's like, I don't want to eat anymore. That's how I feel right. with a normal Cadbury cream egg because I'm like, oh, there's so much goo in here. But you, it's very you guys... rich and sweet. Like it's over. It's super yeah. sweet. Yeah, I get that. But yes, that's. I don't get the shock that I could do it. And it's so <laughs> small. <laughs> well, just, no, no, only in comparison to this egg because I was like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, interesting. Eve, I'm also kind of a uh, just a bag of trash. Like I will eat <laughs> yeah. a lot. Of it. I ate like way. I ate. An entire serving of ramen, a a sushi roll, and my son's leftover ramen for dinner. So it's not like one Cadbury egg should blow your mind when it comes to my consumption capabilities. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I once saw you like eat a huge, huge plates and plates at the strip club buffet when you were watching Chili Dog. (laughs) You watched Chili Dog and you had Chili (laughs) Dog. <laughs> she was just there. Her, her stripper name was just there to promote the two for one special. It was just, <laughs> she, she just came out, just threw buns at the crowd and stuff. Yeah, I was like, I want that. They're like, uh, she's just the lunch lady. I'm like, lap dance now. <laughs> That's what you do she's at a strip club. You walk lady. in and yell at them. <laughs> she's just the lunch lady at the strip club. Were, were you at a strip club or a, or a, ca- a school cafeteria? <laughs> I, went, I, I, I was a janitor at elementary school, and I was like, lap dance. I'm like, sir, you need to leave. You're just throwing dollars at the lunch lady. And she's like, where do you think you are? <laughs> Show me them titties, chili dog. <laughs> All right. That's my wife. You call her chili dog, okay? It's Mrs. Chili Dog to you. All right, Gagard, okay, segment yes, time. It sure is. What do you got? All right. Well, it's Easter. Um, and a, a prominent feature of Easter, as we all know. It is Easter. It's yeah, t- Easter feel. <laughs> Today is Easter. <laughs> Remember that. Right now, presently, it is Easter. <laughs> um, uh-huh. And uh, one of the prominent things about Easter, other than um, sprinting like a maniac to get a box of wine, is... Uh, <laughs> bottle. It's a bottle. <laughs> You said there's 12 bottles. That didn't... <laughs> Not boxes, though. Oh, I guess a box okay. of bottles. Right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. You said they brought two young men to carry it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <it's> a box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's one bottle the shape of a Toyota Corolla. My bad. No. My bad. 
for some reason, I was like, it's not boxed wine. It's bottles of wine. I don't know. What oh, 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 I got you. Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know why I felt. I don't know. I don't know why I felt. I I'm pretty to sure that, that you told us. I mean, we'll check the tape, but I'm pretty sure you told us that you ordered so much wine. They just painted the UPS logo on the side of the box that you ordered, put some wheels on it and drove it over to your house. <laughs> Because sure if you said. put wheels on something, you can drive it. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I drove my rollerblades over to your house that one time? I do uh, think I do think you were right to clarify it was not a box because running down the street for a box of wine is uh, is actually worse. So it's okay. Where's my friends? Yeah. Um, See. All right. Yeah. All right. Segment time. God damn it. <laughs> so so um. <laughs> That's okay. It, so since it's a holiday, uh, we're combining two segments. This is a quiz with a BuzzFeed quiz attached. So <laughs> but what we're going to do, we have seven questions about eggs. The three of you have to answer. Whoever gets closest mm-hmm. gets to choose. Uh, and I'll, I'll track who wins each question. And then that person gets to pick the response for a BuzzFeed quiz. I'm not telling you what we're deciding <laughs> with BuzzFeed quiz, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm pretty right. sure. Okay, we had a text thread earlier this week, and you were like, "Don't worry, the segment is simple." Yep, it got yeah. harder today. <laughs> I got bored today, and it got much more complicated. <laughs> All right, let me pull up my word doc. So this is going to be a winner. That person, we're gonna. The rest of us no, are no, gonna no. watch that person no, like no, waste no, their no. time on the internet answering the question. <laughs> no, <quiz>. no. <laughs> All right, let us know when you're done. Just dead silence. No, so there's seven questions on the quiz, and there's seven questions uh-huh. going to ask you. So if you get the right answer on no, the first question, you'll get to pick the answer for the first. Okay, question. okay, yeah, I yeah. got it. Got so you got collectively will. We're teaming up to figure out. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. What is the boat's fees quit oh. telling us? I'm not telling you. You're going to find out at the end. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. That's right. Overly complicated, this motherfucker. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is very Chad style quiz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just stealing my vibe. <laughs> First, you're gonna get a pre-egg. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So, number one, start off pretty basic. How many eggs does the average American eat in one year? Ooh. All right, I'll go right mm. out the gate. 150. 150. You guys wow. uh, ready, or do you need? extra time i wonder i'm wondering if this is like counting eggs that are the best egg preparation chocolate cake does that count as eating an egg uh no i don't think it does okay it counts eating chocolate cake <laughs> <laughs> what do you think eve uh is this like if I go over, then I'm not gonna get it, or no, no, just closest total. It, uh, you can go past or under, or whatever you want to do. Uh, two hundred. Two hundred. Oof. Excellent suggestion. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like fifty-two weeks. I don't know. An American eats a couple eggs a week. I guess. Uh, I'll go lower just for the hell of it. I'll say one twenty-five. Okay. Eve will win this one. Is two fifty actually? So, wow! Holy fuck! You know, I believe it. My wife eats like Sweet. two eggs a day at least. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Nice job. I eat eggs every morning, and I yeah. and I eat like two slices of chocolate cake a day. So. <laughs> <laughs> what question does she get to answer? Uh, we'll find out later when we get to the quiz. Oh, we're just. Oh, oh. I see. Okay. I'm steering the ship here, motherfucker. I'm not clicking back <laughs> between three windows. All right. Uh, all right. All right. Number two. How long does it take a hen to produce a single egg? I know this answer, so I'll go last. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm going to look awful. Eve, you go first. (laughs) How long does it take a hen to produce one chocolate cake? (laughs) How long does it take a hen to produce an egg? Yeah. Well, in the summer, they're laying eggs like all the time. 36 hours? (laughs) Okay. 36 hours is your guess? I'll go, but I'll say five days. All right. (laughs) Don't worry, he's not gonna win. (laughs) So I don't. I should clarify. I don't know the exact number, but my in-laws had chickens, and the chickens would lay, on average, about six eggs a week. It was usually Mm -hmm. one a day, but then sometimes they would skip. So it was like a little more than twenty-four hours. So I'm gonna say twenty-eight hours. It is twenty-four to twenty-six hours. So you were the closest. You will win that. Okay. Number three. 
Howard Helmer owns the Guinness World Record for most omelets made in 30 minutes. Wow. How many is that? What do you put in there? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't say the, the ingredients. the ingredients of all the omelets. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate cake, wine, <laughs> Cadbury egg. I'm trying to think of how long how a guy just flying through making one quick omelet. Yeah. This is so bizarre because who knows what his setup was. He could have had like yeah. five or six skillets, neck, you know, and he's doing them all side by yeah, side. Yeah, because when guys do these things, <laughs> we looked up the world's longest banana split. We saw that somewhere was like a video on it with my kids. It's the world's longest banana split. And it was like six miles long. It was something insane. I was like, what is this banana split? I got to look. It was just a bunch of. <laughs> like v-shaped cardboard in a row with <laughs> bananas in it like with bananas laid end to end in it that was the entire thing there was nothing else but just there was bananas. no like ice cream or there whipped cream, no, ice or cream? Or no there was no ice cream and then i think they might have put like maybe sprinkled chocolate sauce or something so i think oh, these, well. get, oh, these get you, it. <laughs> you thought it would be a six mile long banana <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering what could qualify as an animal or if this guy has he's in the middle of a circle of like yeah. 12 stoves and he's just like flying around in a circle, like cooking all these omelets <laughs> or what he's doing. Well, Novak, I can't answer all those questions, but I'm going to let you figure it out anyway. I'm going to go 60. 60. All right. Uh, 125. 125. I think it's I think it's way high because I Novak's right. He could have like 30 skillets. You just crack, 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 crack. Yep. And by the time you get around to the front, it's ready to flip. 200. 200. Chad will win that again, but he's really not close. It's 427 omelets. What? Wow. It's got to be just like two, three eggs, flip, flap, flip. I, I wonder. Yeah. It's probably like a, like a Denver omelet or something that he's like putting together. This is a banana split omelet. Here's six <laughs> miles of banana into each omelet. Right. All right. Four. Harriet, a hen in the UK, laid the largest egg in the world. How many inches in diameter is it? Or was it, I should say. It's probably not still there. <laughs> Void Levitch preserved that egg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't flush that egg on the toilet. Uh, okay, inches in diameter. Did you guys see my egg? Did you see the egg I laid? <laughs> Go check it out. Wait, she's a chicken, though? That's like, Yes, they, they, they typically lay eggs. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, like, not a different... Not an, she's not an ostrich. No, 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 no. She, okay. Well, I, maybe I don't know. He just said a hen, so maybe she's a, a she's a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it a fucking whale? Uh, they don't lay eggs. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Uh... Well, how big was how big was Harriet? Harriet was a yeah. big old bitch. Just give me an answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was one beefy chicken. <laughs> Did she have like two rows of teeth, short little arms, and from the Jurassic period? Did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> All right, who's got a number? Uh, four and a half inches. <laughs> I love this. All right. Eve, what do you got? <laughs> Seven inches. Okay. I'll just, I'm going higher than that. Eight. Because all these things are higher. Chad, or no, Novak wins. 9.1 inches in diameter. Wow. What an egg. That is a huge <laughs> egg, guys. All right. Number five. <laughs> Eve's uh, put it in her What the? <laughs> I don't think she was. There's no way she was a chicken. That's like bigger than a it chicken. Said she was a, it said she was a hen. Maybe it was an ostrich. It didn't specify. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> I read it in the onion, okay? Uh, all right. Number five. The zillion dollar omelet is the most expensive egg dish in the world. It is not a chocolate cake, Chad. Yeah. Uh, what does it cost? One zillion dollars. No, it's not a zillion dollars. It was. It's made at Norma's in the La Parker Meridian Hotel in New York. It's made with six eggs, an entire lobster, and ten ounces of Sevruga caviar. Wow. Ooh. It's basically a, di a dish intended to like make everybody in the world hate us. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> it's one of those. How much does it cost? Yes. You said it's not a zillion dollars, right? It's not a zillion. That's the only clue I'm okay. giving you. False I'll go. I'm gonna go hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Wow. 
I was going to say like $1,200. Twelve dollars Whoa. 1200 Okay. Two zillion. <laughs> False <laughs> advertising. It's actually two zillion. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. <laughs> you just open the menu and just all zeros. Oh, take that, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 900 lobsters? Yeah, I'm game. <laughs> I, I actually think, I mean, there are a lot of restaurants that do this. They'll put some stunt dish on the menu that's right. like four digits in price. Just so that, like, fucking, I don't know, Lil Yachty can come in and, like, order it or something. <laughs> Lil Yachty? <laughs> yeah. Lil Yachty comes in and orders it with all those Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs money. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna say, what did you say, Eve? 1,200? I'm actually yes. going to yeah. go higher than that. I'm going go wow. to go 2K. Okay. Yikes. Eve is going to win. It's $1,000. Yes. Plus. Wow. Yes. Here's the thing, though. This is how they fool you. Is they like say you got this nice lobster, but the lobster that they kill and put in there was like the lobster equivalent of Wisconsin stripper chili dog. <laughs> really low quality. <laughs> it's like a it's like a shrimp. They taped a giant tail on the end. Of. <laughs> oh look, it's a lobster, guys. <laughs> so Ruga caviar is just like fucking. Uh, chili dog <laughs> from the gas station at Seven Eleven. <laughs> cut up and put it in there. Um, all right, number six. <laughs> the world's cheapest omelet <laughs> <laughs> made at the gas station. <laughs> but it's, uh, cut up cheese dogs. <laughs> it's a Seven Eleven zillion dollars. Uh, right. You bite in, you're like, this caviar's got spicy cheese inside. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, noted <laughs> egg-based movie, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, uh, grossed how much money in 1989? <laughs> there was not a lot of great egg facts. That was good. That was good. Are you sure Chad didn't make this <laughs> tell you to give it? No, no. <laughs> no. So it came out in 1989, and what did it gross, like? Uh, as a movie, that year. movies made a lot less back then. Correct, the money yeah. didn't go as far. Right, you, it was yeah. called the billion omelet back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how much did it gross? Two zillion dollars. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say eighty mil. Okay, no way. Well, the movie is Billionaire and Ted's Bogus Journey, so I will say <laughs> no. Um, it is. Oh, how much did you say, Chad? Uh, 80. I feel like it's less than that. I think it's a little more cult movie. I'm going to say I'll go 70. Okay. Ooh, I'll go like 47. Eve is killing it. It was $40.9 million. Yes! Wow. I mean, again, in 1989, but you almost think it would have made more because it was like the only, like, there's probably only like six movies that year. I'm kidding. That's probably not true yeah, at all. Yeah. And there's been like two sequels. <laughs> there. Right. right. Uh, all right. Last question, and then we'll get to the quiz. So, Another creature notable for laying eggs, Bears quarterback Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> How many career interceptions has Mitch Trubisky thrown? Oh my god! This is for Eve. This is for my other Packer fan on the on the call here. Eve, you got to know this, so go ahead. Oh Lord, career? Yes, not How many just this years year. Has even played? Oh. oh boy, I want to say four or five. I think four. Yeah, four years. Four years. Oh geez. 80? Whoa. What'd that's you say? Way. <laughs> she said 80. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, he's bad, but he's <laughs> he, he threw one reception every two seconds. <laughs> no, that's 20 a year. That's like yeah. 20 a year. Well, he didn't play almost his whole rookie year, but okay, we'll get to it anyway. Well, I can't. I... No, that's a fine. Right. That's a fine. He's... Maybe you'll win. <laughs> Chad, what do you think? She's only going to win if we say 81 and 80. <laughs> um, Chad and I have at least seen most of them. Right. Yeah, I, I was I was going to I was going to actually guess like maybe like 12 a year and then of course not really throwing out that rookie year. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to go with 36. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really close to that. Um, I saw this recently. It's very, very close to that. I'm just I'm gonna price this right, Chad, because yeah. I know he's very close and do thirty seven, so hopefully it's more. It is thirty seven on the dot. So <gasps> <I'm gonna> <laughs> yeah. 
Wow, good job. So, but it, but in the end, all right. So you each get uh, Chad and Novak get to pick two of the questions. Eve will choose three, uh, as oh. we decide. So y'all all get equal, pretty much uh, representation in the in the quiz. So let me navigate. Here comes over the cat. There. <laughs> all right. So to get to the cat how, area. Again. How many does Eve's cat get to answer? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Eve, you're up first. Uh, okay. Basically, now you have to choose one right, cat. Stop feeding me cheese dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no. Quit pouring boxed wine into my dish. Um, <laughs> I want a nine inch egg. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> All right. You have to choose one of these options. What's for breakfast, Eve? Would you choose scrambled eggs, a hard boiled egg, an omelet, a fried egg, a poached egg, or three raw eggs in a blender? Which one of those sound best to you for breakfast? Uh, fried egg. Fried egg. That's a good choice. All right. Yes. That's a uh, great all right. Chad, you're going to answer these next two. Choose a different kind of egg to eat as a snack. Quail egg, emu egg, common snack, a duck egg, ostrich egg, a century egg, which I believe you've talked about before, mm-hmm. and a go- or a goose egg. Okay, I've had ostrich egg. It was too much. And you made a joke about emu egg, but my brother literally texted me this week saying he had ordered an emu egg off of the internet. And then, like, it's two what? days later, he's texting me pictures of emu egg omelet. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? He's sprinting up a hill. Wait! Deliver my <laughs> emu egg! <laughs> Dude, it's a sign for it. <laughs> no! Uh, I'm going to say duck eggs. Duck eggs are very good. Duck egg, okay. All right, this one is also Chad. Choose a lunch where that is also egg-based for some reason. An egg salad, a frittata, egg tacos, an egg casserole, egg fried rice, or raw egg soup, which is a picture of a bowl with a raw egg and a yolk floating in it, which I don't think is a real thing. But uh, That sounds funny. If it was just me, I'd probably pick that. But since we're doing this together as a team, and I want to think okay. of... Uh... Think of my teammates here. I'm going to say... Don't let us down. Egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. Okay. All right. This is the number four. This is Novak. Choose a, uh, choose a drink with egg in it. This is an interesting one. So eggnog, a whiskey sour, raw egg whites, which is a quote-unquote drink according to BuzzFeed. <laughs> I saw Hulk Hogan drink that. <laughs> <laughs> a Pisco sour, the white lady, which is in a martini glass, and I should have looked it up, but I didn't. Or... Mm-hmm. Uh, just the answer of you want me to drink eggs? Question mark. Uh, it's definitely between the first couple, but yeah. eggnog's pretty nasty. I'm oh, gonna go nice. with uh, whiskey sour. Whiskey sour, good man. All right, uh, Eve, you're back up for the next two. How about dinner? So, Eve, what are we eating for dinner? Pasta carbonara, a quiche, egg stuffed pepper, ramen, huevos rancheros, or tamago egg sushi. Ooh. I know what I'd pick. Um, I'm going to pick quiche. I love quiche. Quiche for dinner. Interesting. Okay. I know what yeah. Geiger would pick. I had ramen tonight. <laughs> We've been talking about ramen quite a bit recently. <laughs> I but. love ramen. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, Chad, were you reacting to the sushi, the tamago egg? I fucking love tamago. It's so good. I don't know what that is. It's like, it's the little sweet egg omelet that they serve. It's like usually served on top of rice, like in a in nigiri form. But it's oh. delicious. Whenever we get sushi, I always get one for like a dessert at the end of the sushi. Oh, okay. Uh, Eve, this is also you. Pick a late night snack. Again, egg based. You're, we're really blowing that two fifty out of the water today. Uh, <laughs> avocado toast with fried egg, a deviled egg, kachapuri with egg, which looks like some sort of bread with like cheese in it and an egg on top. Uh, a chocolate egg, much like the one we just ate. A breakfast sandwich, perfect late night snack, <laughs> or. You can say, I don't think I can eat anymore. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> it's an option. I guess maybe a chocolate egg? Yeah. There we go. It's a good snack. All right. Novak, the last one. The most relevant question of all. How is your food? Here are your options. Excellent. <laughs> Exquisite. Extreme. Exceptional. Rotten. Or I'm ignoring this question. <laughs> Let's go exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> Attaboy, real decisive. All right. <laughs> Guys, I have some bad news. This quiz oh. that we were assembling here today was to determine the surprising way that we're going to die. 
Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to go like, Are these egg-based us? This is, <laughs> is going to tell you which type of egg you're going to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to tell you which type of egg you're going to fertilize. No. Um, all right. You got. <laughs> you all ordered an emu egg off the internet. Now bang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shell's kind of hard. All right. You got. You'll get super drunk and cannonball into an active volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty normal way to go. So you're always taking it. <laughs> you're always taking things to the egg stream, whether that be your choice in breakfast food or your recreational activities after a few too many tequila shots. It was nice knowing you. Cannonballing into the volcano is egg stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's not normal, I would say that. Wait, hold on a sec. Eve, yeah. there isn't like a volcano in your neighborhood, right? Or anything that, that's what you look this this might be your actual fate. Right. All that wine. No, there's not. <laughs> Wait, what's that Wisconsin volcano called? Uh, 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 Chili Dog Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Brett Favre Peak? Yeah, it, you know how they always do, you know how they're always allowing super wasted people to walk up to the edge of an active volcano. You know, there's common problem. So uh, easy to walk up it. <laughs> yeah, 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 staggering up. So, Well, when it's in the middle of your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, that was How the egg weird. quiz slash breakfast quiz. So there you go, or not wow. breakfast quiz at all. Egg quiz slash Buzzfeed. Quiz. <laughs> <laughs> the quiz is named after the first question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too drunk. All right, let's eat some grass. <laughs> all right, oh, no. grass is now legal. No, this right. is the edible, edible grass. You can put it inside of your Easter basket. It's uh, Gallery is the company. Edible green apple flavored grass. It is odorless completely. Yeah, isn't that it weird? It is. So when I th- when I heard it was going to be edible grass, I thought it was. So when you put Easter grass in your uh, basket, it's usually a bunch of individual pieces. But this is like one, a bunch of long coils of it. They're individual pieces, but they're all very long pieces coiled together. Yeah, it's very. Very long. I'm assuming this is going to be like a cotton candy type, like dissolve in your mouth type deal. But it isn't. It isn't. No. No. Sour apple. I taste almost nothing. This is the sour apple, which I picked because it was the green one. The other ones were like pink and blue or something. And also, this is the only one they had uh, three of, so I can mail them to you guys. (laughs) (laughs) But I don't taste any apple at all. I don't know about you. Do you guys... I don't taste anything at all. It's like <laughs> I can taste a bit of apple. Sweet. I can't even think of a texture to compare it to. Grass? I, I mean, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have chili dog flavor or no? <laughs> just cheese dog. Okay. If they had chili dog, I might get hard while I was eating it. And it definitely just feels like you're sticking a piece of hay in your mouth and chewing it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is the point of this? Like, I, It doesn't taste like anything. I think it's supposed to be fun. Very fun. What are the ingredients? It's potato starch. Corn starch, potato starch, artificial mm. flavor. Yellow number five. Oh, that's what I tasted. Number five. I thought it was four. <laughs> I mean, it's fat free. Serving size is one bag. Someone's going to eat this entire fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's a hundred, a hundred calories for the whole bag. <laughs> it's a really handy snack to eat on the go. How long would it really take you to eat this? Hmm. A day. It's, it's so much of it. I was like, how many Easter's are left until the heat death of the sun? That's right. probably. <laughs> Which can happen first? You eat this whole thing or a chicken makes an egg? <laughs> According to you, a chicken takes five days. I didn't know they made I mean, that's a five days seemed <laughs> reasonable. It's like they're creating life and they're doing it in 24 hours. I mean, not really. Not really. But, but uh... there's no there's no actual embryo in that egg. Yeah, you that's that true, egg. I suppose. You guys, you guys, my cat is eating it. My cat is eating the grass. Oh, what's... Good? Let's see what she thinks. What does she think of it? Yeah. She <laughs> meow, is like... chewing on it and then she's spitting it out. <laughs> good cat. So, good cat. Meow dislike. So meow dislike. No, that's Gagger. <laughs> <laughs> What is your, what's your cat's name? Uh, Bryn. This is Bryn. Bryn? I have three cats, okay. but this is Bryn. Yeah. 
All right. She um three cats and ordering wine online, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said it down a dark path in life. <laughs> what are you implying? It's a slippery slope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Three cats, <laughs> box of wine, no curtains. Yeah, Welcome yeah, yeah, to yeah, my life. Yeah. A Home Alone style defense system behind you. <laughs> it's a real problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll go first. <sighs> oh, the grass. <laughs> there's I don't even it doesn't even taste like food. It honestly doesn't taste like food. Yeah. Um but it's not so repulsive that I want to spit it out. I actually have been eating more of it. I this is one of those where I don't know if indifferent is the right thing to say because it tastes like nothing and I don't think much or <laughs> if dislike is better. <laughs> <laughs> because it's stupid. I'm not, I'm not nearly as conflicted. <laughs> you keep eating more. You eating more. Every time I fucking yeah. look over, your mouth is full of it. Oh, I just keep waiting to taste something. It's the <laughs> pandemic. I just want to feel, damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this. I don't get it. If they're going to make edible grass, they should give it some kind of flavor. That's, I got to give it a dislike that. Oh, uh, Eve, what do you think of it? You know, it doesn't taste <laughs> He's like got another mouthful. <laughs> yeah, look at him. <laughs> you look, like, look like a fucking horse. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a fucking slob. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are a piece of shit, and I sleep with a cardboard cutout of Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> all right um, Eve, what do you think <laughs> i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say indifferent to that because like let's say this was the only food there was like i'm or not even this was the only food, like, let's <laughs> on <say> earth <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> no just wait just wait like let's say I mean, like, I could eat this and not be disgusted. It just doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like air. So that's why I would say indifferent to that, because, like, I could eat it <laughs> if I had to eat something. I don't know. I'm not sure how to rank it. That's why I'm saying, because I don't hate it, because it just doesn't taste like anything. But I would never choose it. So indifferent to that. All right. A dislike there. and indifferent. Gagger. Uh, yeah, this is ridiculous. I mean, there's no, I mean it literally tastes like nothing. <laughs> I tr- trust me, if anyone would have known how it tastes, it's me. I tried. It, it tastes like <laughs> nothing. It is It is like, what is the point? What is the point of this? It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't taste like anything. It, it's just yeah. like styrofoam that you can digest. Your body can digest. It makes no sense. <laughs> I don't... I mean, I'm hoping. Can it? I mean, <laughs> we don't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I just took a giant grassy yarny turd. Uh, uh, uh. Check back with me in 24 to 26 hours. <laughs> we'll see if I've either digested it or laid an egg. Um, this stuff is tor- it's, This is ridiculous. This is a hate debt on premise alone. It doesn't taste bad. You're right. It's innocuous. It's like... <laughs> flavorless it's it might as well not exist but someone fucking works here at this company makes this shit has to put it in the bag we had to go and fucking buy it <laughs> all for the right to eat to, to feel nothing this is nothing the right <laughs> it's my right damn it <laughs> people there's people starving in the world and we're eating a bag of tasteless styrofoam uh for shits and giggles this is this, i hate this because it's the dumbest fucking thing i've ever seen on this podcast all right we know how um, Gagger feels. Wow. Chad, what do you th- we have three different... <laughs> Which one of us are you siding with? Or are you going to be the first ever four-person, four different ratings in the history yeah. of the show? That would mean you would have to <laughs> somehow <laughs> explain to us why you like this. He could love it. He could love it. 
<laughs> Kiger, you you said hate that, and then immediately yeah. shoved another ho- yeah. handful into your mouth. Well, that was for humor purposes. Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, okay. Wait, yeah. Nobody can see that. <laughs> <laughs> you all cut. <laughs> <laughs> that one was for us. <laughs> Trust me, everyone. He was very funny. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, so actually, Geiger, you there sort of like adopted a position that I often take, which is like, because this thing is pointless, then I hate it, right? Like, I I did Mm -hmm. stuff like that with like the nickel nip and and a couple other things over the years. That's actually not the reason that I hate this. I hate this because it is so dry, right? Like, it is really, really dry. And and the, the styrofoam comparison is a good one. It just is like putting styrofoam in your mouth. There's no flavor there, and the fact that the consistency and texture is so unappealing means that you have to have some flavor there to be a reason to eat that, but there is no reason for it, and it's just an unpleasant eating experience. I agree. This thing fucking sucks. Hate that. This is my boy. Wow. Two hates, wow. a dislike, and indifferent. Yeah. Well, wow. um, the winner today is going to be the Junior Mint Eggs. Uh, with two loves, actually. Half of the people here loved it. It's a tasty snack. It's, if I was going to eat another one of these, that would for sure be the one I go for. So uh, it takes home the Easter victory. Now, Geiger, where can the listeners contact us? Yeah, if you have other egg facts, um, if you are those two UPS drivers, we trust us. Eve's a very nice lady. She's not insane. So just <laughs> give her another chance. Come back over with another box of wine. And if you are, I don't know, uh, like Easter. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Just reach out to us. Give us a review. <laughs> give us a like. Uh, let, tell your friends about us. And you can do so at you tried it at gmail.com. You can uh, visit us on the Facebook with the You Tried That group. We're on YouTube. We're on Instagram. We are also on Twitter. Hashtag You Tried That. Leave us a like. Leave us a listen. Leave us a listen. I I eat too much of this grass. It's in my brain now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this made no, that made if no sense. If you like Easter, send us an email. <laughs> if you like Easter, <laughs> drop a listen. What the fuck? I'm hammering a box line. <laughs> Um, you know, give us some, uh, actually send in a comment for the mailbag. We could actually do an actual <laughs> mailbag. <laughs> well, you know, we did like, we had like one question. I've talked about this fucking mailbag for 200 episodes or whatever it is. I ate this grass for you guys. <laughs> the least you can do. <laughs> one actual question that we didn't make up and pretend. <laughs> All right. Uh, before we go, Eve, what, we got to know what was the kind of wine. Are you... Do you uh, <laughs> order a special fancy wine, or is it just like a box full of five dollar wines? I don't. I don't know a lot about wine. I like sparkling wine, so it's like champagne, but it's prosecco. It's Italian, so I just mm. it was like ten bottles mm. of prosecco and then two bottles of <laughs> red wine every time, like every week. So you don't even like do variety. It's just like. In oh the, no! In the I last changed year, it up. You've had three hundred bottles of prosecco or something. <laughs> in the beginning, I was ordering all kinds of different stuff, and then I discovered I really liked the prosecco. So then I just started mm. ordering like ten bottles of it at a time. But, it's, but I, it's not every. It's not every. <laughs> I, like so I found out I really liked it, so I ordered uh, enough to kill me. <laughs> we love you, Eve. It's not even every month. It's not even every month that I get the order. It's every Man. day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just found that, like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just found out that I really liked walking up to the edge of this neighborhood volcano. So I think I'm just going to have to do that 10 times a day. Uh, uh, well, um, Eve, we want to thank you so much. It was really great to see you. And thanks for coming on. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. This was super us. fun. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. cheered me up. <laughs> that will uh, do it for this week. But we'll be back next week when we try out three brand new snacks. Yep. <laughs>